hi guys in this video we are going to be looking at this image slider animation on this hero section that you can see right here this um, image slider it's an infinite loop um, when it gets to the last one it returns back to the first one without you actually noticing and it just keeps going um, that way and you can see there's a little page indicator down here that also transitions when the actual image moves to the next one so on um, please if this is your first time on my channel don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell as i'm going to be posting more interesting videos like this so without further ado let's get right into the video so in order to achieve our animation i have a header section i designed here already and also we can also see an outline of the animation design here so that i can have like the basic layout structure right here we have a frame we also have these particular mobile screens and i have those mobile screens on the right here i have the home screen the shopping carts the product screen and some of these little cards that you can see on the far right here so the first thing we are going to do to start making our designs is to get the image of these things because i don't want to work with um, the actual um, vector file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select i'm going to right click i'm going to select this home screen here i'm going to right click and i'm going to click on copy and copy as png once i click on that i'm going to come to a different section of the board and i'm going to hit command v or ctrl v to paste it um it's going to paste this um, screen that we just designed here as an image so another shortcut to do that i'm going to copy the same um i'm going to copy the shopping cards i'm going to hit shift command c and i'm going to click outside of a different section area and i'm going to click command v to paste it so a shortcut to copy as png is shift command c or if you're using a window it's going to be shift ctrl c um, i'm going to copy this product screen also i'm also going to do the same thing for this um little cards that we have here um, i'm going to copy and paste all of them as an image in a different section so um, once i have all this i'm just going to align them um properly because these are the files we are going to be needing um for our designs So, um, once I have this, now I would want to fit all these um, um, images here to so the sizes we would require, which is what we have here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this. So, I'm going to select all these images I just pasted on the board and I'm going to click Command X or Control X if you're using a PC. I'm going to also click on these pages here and this plus button to add a new page. I'm going to paste in the images we just created because I don't want to make the new designs in this current page so we won't mess up um, some of the things we already do have here. But I'm also going to copy this desktop header section um, down to the page we just created so that we can also um, have a view of it while we are designing. So, so from here we are trying to achieve this particular section here. Uh, which has this mobile screens and this indicator so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these mobile pages i'm going to come to the width section here and i'm going to give it a width of 160 um, pixel i'm also going to reduce the spacing between them to like 20 pixel i'm going to zoom in so that you can um, see what i'm working with so from here i'm going to hold down alt and duplicate these screens so i have two sets of these screens I'm then going to select every single one of them and hit shift a to create an auto layout on them i'm going to make the spacing between them 20 and i'm then going to bring in a frame now we want to have a frame that is similar to this which as you can see is um 460 by 650 in size i'm then going to click on the frame section i'm going to click on the add board and i'm going to go to the um, width and height section and give it a width of 460 and the height of 650 just like um, the current one we have 
once i've done this it's time to bring in our mobile screens inside our frame but before i do that i'm going to select every single one of these mobile screens um i'm going to select all six of them i'm going to click on the stroke section to give them um strokes and i'm going to make the stroke of um, three pixel i'm also going to round up the edges a little bit to let's say um 12 pixel and i think this is good enough i'm also going to give them um let's say an effect it's going to be drop shadow um i'm going to make the blur something like 40 and i'm going to reduce the opacity to 10 percent i'm then going to select the entire frame and move it into the frame we just created i'm going to hold down space bar so that i can move the frame around the uh, i can move the sets of mobile screens inside the frame just like you're seeing here once i paste it i'm just going to zoom this in a little bit more so you guys can see um so what we are trying to achieve is at intervals we want to um scroll to the next screen um after like one second or two we scroll to another screen so basically the first screen we would want to show i'm just going to fit this um inside this frame back um the first screen we want to show is this shopping cart um screen here so i'm going to select it and i'm going to make it um larger than other screen sizes i'm going to give it a width of 210 um so that it's larger than others but i want it to pop up not down as you can see there are spaces below so i'm going to come to this auto layout section and give it um a positioning of bottom left alignment you could also use the bottom center alignment but i'm going to use bottom left alignment then i'm going to push this entire frame to the top a little bit so as you can see we are almost achieving what this is looking like exactly so the next thing i want to create is this um indicators right here and it's really easy to design so i'm going to come back to our um, designs here i'm going to select this ellipse um tool and i'm going to click on it to create a circle i'm going to make the height and width of this circle to be let's say 16 um pixel and i'm going to click on the strokes to give it a stroke it's going to be a stroke of let's say two um i'm going to give it a few of black rather i'm then going to duplicate this ellipse um three more times because we do have three screens which indicates um, we are going to be transitioning between three screens i'm going to select all three ellipse two and i'm going to hit shift a to create an auto layout on it on the auto layout i'm going to give it um a lot more padding and margin let's say 40 for instance which is way too much let's say 20 um and i'm going to spread it across this particular frame right i'm going to give it a stroke so that you can see the edges and i'm going to position its contents to the middle as you can see um um, this is coming out just exactly as we have so once i position the contents to the middle i'm going to push it up to sit just right under the mobile frames that we designed and i'm going to explain to you why i'm uh, making this sit directly under the frames in a bit so because this is the first screen i'm going to click on the second indicator and the third indicator and i'm going to make the fill zero percent note i'm not going to take out the fill or i'm going to turn on the visibility i'm just reducing the opacity of that particular fill to zero percent right so once we have this i think i'm going to move um both the indicator and the frame a little downward so that i have more head space um and i think this is fine so once we have this the next thing we want to do is to give the frame its background color I'm going to select our frame i'm going to click on this tool and pick the exact color once we have this as you can see we've almost achieved um, the same thing as we have in our designs i'm just going to move it to the top a little bit and i think this is fine right so um basically what we want to create here is an interactive component right where at a particular interval um an action is taking the the mobile screen transitions to the next one so 
Um, without much talking, let's just get right to it. But before I go, I'm going to give this frame um a little bit of rounded edges, which is I'm going to give it like ten um to create some curve around it. And I'm going to make this frame a component. So I'm going to click on this component tool at the very top to make it a component. Once I do that, I'm going to click on this plus tool to add another variant. So now we have two variants of this particular component. So basically what we want to achieve is um, at this next state of this component, we want to show the next mobile um, screen, which is this third mobile screen that we see here. All right. So I'm just going to position this um, to where the mobile screen is. And um, just as you must have guessed, the stroke on this indicator is to just know um, the exact position of these mobile frames so that I make sure it's always um, maintaining the same. So it's just to make sure it's maintaining the same horizontal line. I just hope you guys are getting me. I'm going to click on this middle one, which is the one we want to emphasize on and give it a width of 210. And then click on this particular one and give it a width of um, 160 so it goes back to the small size of other screens i'm going to position this back to the middle um there is no way i could get the exact middle if you have a way um, you can also comment um, or leave a comment in the comment section so now we've transitioned to this second screen what we want to do is also to make this indicator appear that it's in the second screen so i'm going to select the second indicator i'm going to make the fill to 100 percent and i'm going to select the first one i'm going to reduce the fill back to zero so once we create a smart animate between the first and the second variants there is a transition um in the opacity of this indicator which makes it feel like it's transitioning actually to the next screen so we'll do the same thing for um the third variant i'm going to click on this second variant and click on this plus button so that we create a third variant for the third variant i'm going to move this um so we see the third screen i'm going to select the third screen emphasize it um give it a width of 210 select the previous one and take it back to 160 pixel so once i've done this you can see that um our third screen is showing properly then i'm going to create the indicator for the third screen i'm going to make the third indicator fill 100 percent and i'm going to reduce the fill of the second one to zero percent so now we have these three screens but um we want to be able to properly transition between these three screens um in an infinite loop matter so we have to um get back to this very first screen which is this shopping cart screen and that is why we have um this second set of this mobile screen so to just explain this for you i'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on variant to create to create another variant. Um, I'm going to select this uh, frame where we have the mobile screens. I'm going to move it um, till we get to the position where the shopping cart um, screen, which is actually the very first screen, is in the middle. I'm going to emphasize it, make it 210 in width, and I'm going to reduce the previous screen to 160. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to properly position it back to where um, I feel like it should be. And I'm also going to return the indicator to the very first um, screen. So I'm going to remove the fill in the last indicator. So once I've done this, you will notice that this shopping cart is also um, the very first screen. So once we've gotten to this position, what you want to do is um to return back to this very first screen in an instant manner where the user doesn't notice that they've gotten here so from here we can start creating our prototypes right but before we create our prototype i'm going to remove the stroke from these indicators i'm going to select the indicator for all the variants and i'm going to turn um off the visibility in the stroke and i'm just going to take it out completely so now we can create a prototype um so I'm, I'm going to click on the very first variant i'm going to switch to the prototype section and i'm going to click on this plus and transition it to the second variant right it's going to be an after delay and i want it to be an after delay of let's say um 2000 milliseconds for instance and i want to create a transition which is going to be a smart animate and i also want that to transition 
um, in two seconds, which is 2000 milliseconds. I'm going to do the same thing from the second variant to the third variant. It's going to be an after delay. It's going to be 2000 um, millisecond and also 2000 millisecond. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to do the same thing from the third variant to the fourth variant. Still an after delay, um, all 2000 millisecond for the after delay and the um, smart animate timing. But from the last variant, I'm then going to return the favor to the very first um, variant. So I'm going to switch the arrows back to the very first variant. And it's going to be an after delay, but this time it's going to be zero millisecond and it's going to be instant. There's not going to be any smart animation attached to it. So that it just quickly switches to this very first one and your animation can start again. So at this point, I really do hope you guys um, are understanding because this is just um, a basic interactive component. It can get a lot more complex than this. Um, so once you're done, you can switch to your asset panel. You're going to see our component that we just created. You can bring it in or you can just click on one of these, click on Alt, take it out um, or click Control Copy to copy an instance of this, your component. But I'm just going to take this here. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to come to this place where we have um, the existing one, right click on it and paste to replace. Now we've replaced that with our components we just designed. So hopefully this works. I'm going to click on the desktop and I'm going to switch and, and I'm going to play the prototype so that we can see what we just designed. I really do hope this works because um, so as you can see uh, animation it's um, happening but it's very slow. It's not usually like this, but I'm guessing because of my screen recorder, it's really slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the animation time to, let's say 500 milliseconds. Because um, my system is actually making it a lot slower than it should be. So if I make it like 500 milliseconds, hopefully, um, it's a lot faster so i'm going to replay the prototype and you can see um our animation is transitioning smoothly so thanks for watching this is how you can create a simple slide animation in figma um if you have any questions please leave a comment and don't forget to like turn on this notification bell and subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you